and that is called as pictograph. We show that particular information as a pictures. Then we call it as pictograph, and uh, we show the information about rectangles. And then we call it as bar graph. The high class we learn about pipe graph also. So up to now we have so and this. Pictograph and bar graph. So pictograph will represent some of the pictures. And bar graphs will use the rectangles. Let's see uh, one of the example. We collect some of the information about the absenteeism of the students in the school from Monday to Saturday. So Monday. Let's 
destroy pictograph for this following information by taking 1000 as one picture, 1000 women will take as one picture. So, draw a pictograph first. Let's see, first 2000 year, 2000, sorry, 2010 and 2011. 
Correct time is that for representing the women. So one, two, three, four, five. Five rectangles we draw. So the width of the rectangles must be same always. So so we draw an equal length of width. And next one, the gap between the rectangles must be seen. So whatever the gap between the rectangles we are taking, that must be seen. And uh, the rectangles can be in vertical form or horizontal form. We can take anywhere, either on vertical or horizontally. We can draw the rectangles. These are the rules we need to follow before drawing the bar graph. So let's take the bar graph on this x-axis and y-axis. So here the number of women, let's take it on the y-axis so that we can draw the bar graphs vertically. So number of women. Two 
Yeah. 